Hi and welcome to Let's Start Playing. My name is Henry. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Spots. Spots is a game for two to four players. Spots is a game all about rolling dice and putting those dice on these dog cards in order to cover them in spots. The first player who is able to cover six dog cards completely covered in spots will be the winner. The game will start with the first players taking the first turn and players on their turn will be asked to pick one of the six actions out on the board. These actions aren't always the same, but in your first beginner game, these are the default cards. And the only two actions that are always in every game are the how and the rollover actions. So how spots works is you're going to select one of these actions. In this case, let's select run. And then you're going to perform the action on here. In this case, it says roll three dice. If I select run, I will roll three dice. I would then need us be asked to put these dice onto my dogs. And in this case, I have one spot for one of these fours. So I could go ahead and slot one of those fours into there. These other two dice have no spot on any of my dogs. So they would need to go to this area here. And this is where you bury dice. The issue with burying dice is if you go over seven dice here, you go bust. And all of your dice on dogs that aren't completed disappear and get removed as well as all the dice in your buried area. So it's like a full reset of your board state. So in this case, I would need to put six into here and I already got four to begin the game, making the total 10 in, in dice. That is larger than seven, so that would cause me to go bust. In the game, you can also get these treat tokens that let you reroll all of the dice that you've just rolled. In that case, I would need to unselect this from here Select this dog bone icon and re-roll all the dice. This dice roll is even worse for me, meaning I can only put this four in here. And this five and six will go into this area, causing a bust. So we just kind of have to accept that. And when we go bust, we remove all these dice and this dice will get removed and we start over refresh. Play then passes to my opponent. And if you're playing with more than two players, it will just go around in a circle until it comes back to you. The card that I've just selected gets grayed out, meaning that no one can use it until five of the cards have been used out on the board here. After At that stage, all of them flip back over to the ready to use side. There is two more rules you need to know about. So when you fill a dog up with all of the slots with dice, you can optionally complete that dog. Let's try and show you an example of that in play. I'm gonna try the fetch one now. The fetch lets me roll eight dice and I can take choose to take all the ones in this case, which will fulfill both of my dog. So I've skipped ahead to the second action. So the second action is if you complete all of your dogs, you get to complete them all for free. So normally completing the dog would consume an action and you'd simply flip the dog over and draw a new dog card to replace it. If you complete every single dog that you have, you get to, at the end of that turn, complete all of your dogs and then draw equal number of dogs equal to how many you just completed. So in this case, two, I've gained two more dogs immediately, saving myself one whole action. And it's everything you need to know to play spot. Thank you for watching. This is my first video back after a bit of a break. I've had a number of changes in my life and I've not been able to make these videos, but I'm hoping to come back with more videos very, very soon. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.